Look who's back. I just spit. I know, guys, it's been a super long time. <sighs> But I'm back today with episode 21 of Breakfast Journal. If you haven't seen the entire series yet, I will link that in the i card up there as well as the description box below so you can catch up on all the episodes, but you don't have to watch them in order. It's okay if you start here. Before we get into the pages, if you're not caught up with my most recent videos, I just posted a drawing with crayons video and a giant Play-Doh sculpture. I'm gonna link them below. And if you never wanna miss a new video from me, which by the way, I post every single Friday here on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on bell notifications, give it a ring. I've been waiting a long time to say this, but let's get into Reckless Journal number 21. <laughs> that was a terrible flip through. For the first page of this episode, we're gonna go outside into my yard with all the lovely flowers and gather some dirt so we can rub dirt here on the page. Rub here with dirt. And there's a little ant at the bottom. Every time I see one now, I think of Casey Golden because she draws those all the time they're so cute okay so i have some dirt clumps here and i am just crushing them with this rock that i found outside as well i'm boring myself with this voiceover right now because it's so painfully obvious i poured water into it to make it more muddy so i can actually paint with it but i realized after that the ceramic dish that I have actually absorbs the water so quickly so I had to re-wet it afterwards but anyway here's all the supplies that I'm going to be using I'm trying water brushes for the first time these water paint brushes I was very happy with them let me just say I have some very affordable water paints I would like to try some more higher end ones so if you guys have any watercolor paint suggestions leave them in the comment section below and here's a cute little bunny So let's see how far we can get with this because look how cloudy and gloomy it looks right now. As you can see here, I don't look very excited because I thought I felt a raindrop and oh, they're coming, don't worry. My water brushes are ready. I'm gonna dip that into the bright red and work on the roof of the barn. Yes, there is a barn in my neighbor's yard. There's actually a couple of them. I like looking at them. It's cool scenery to have around. If any of you guys happen to be new here or you're just not caught up on my videos slash my journey, I did move a few months ago into my very first house ever. I'm so excited. I do have a video of my empty house tour if you're interested in seeing where I live now. I'm just so excited to finally have a yard again. I was living in an apartment for about two and a half years at the corner of a busy intersection. No wildlife there were hardly ever birds outside my window it got really boring for me and my cat so I'm very very happy to live here there's new flowers coming up every single week I'm so blessed that our previous owners decided to have those planted and we'll get to enjoy them for years to come as long as we take care of them I don't really know how to take care of plants I'm not good at <laughs> keeping them alive so I need to work on that while I was rambling there you can see I painted some tree leaves they're very um, what am I trying to say not realistic just trying to get the texture in basically and here's a general scene that I'm painting I did change up the perspective a little I'm not gonna do the side of the barn in my painting and I'm not gonna do all those trees that are on the right oh and look at it, it's sprinkling so I did go inside Leo was looking out at me actually he was probably napping but here he's keeping watch on the storm and he'll let me know when it's over even though okay i didn't actually paint again until the next day so here i am outside again and if you want to know what i'm listening to slash well not really watching because i'm painting but i'm listening to bunny or graveyard girls newest video i think it's called we need to talk and it's literally a talking video it's very long and i love that because it kept me occupied while I was putting bushes in and just working on the grass here. There's just a lot in that video of hers that was very helpful for me to hear. I'm constantly trying to read and listen to inspirational, uplifting, motivational um, speeches or just people on YouTube who are going through struggles in their lives because all of us really are. It seems like no matter what genre of videos we create or how long we've been on the platform here, we all go through some sort of crisis at some point. We feel inadequate, we feel like we don't belong, we feel like we don't know who we are. Not everyone, but I've been through that personally and you guys have heard about it before and I'm doing so 
great now. That's one of the reasons Direct This Journal is back. I feel like I know who I am again and I've been just so happy to create art again. I love that, of course, it's summer and I have a place to call my own. I'm not, you know, away from my family and friends. I'm back in the Toledo, Ohio area. I was like two-ish hours of a drive away near Cleveland for the past couple years, so my mood has boosted a lot these past few months especially. I hope you guys don't mind that I was sharing all that with you. There's not really a lot to explain with this painting. I'm basically just recreating what I see with my eye and putting it down on the page. I am kind of making it up a little bit. And now we get to the actual point of the Reckless Journal page, which is to rub here with dirt or I'm gonna paint here with dirt. This would actually be a really cool video on its own to make an entire piece of art with different colors of dirts, different dirts, dirts, different colors of dirt, different types of dirt. I don't exactly know where to find all those. I know there's different colors of clay that are red and almost like a grayish tone. Maybe if I go to some landscaping places, that would be cool. So I am back inside again at this point. I was really trying to stay outside, but this particular day, it was super humid outside and I was getting really hot. And I was actually very, very, very jealous at this point that I could not just rip my shirt off like guys can, like men can in their own backyard and just be topless. This particular issue just really frustrates me sometimes. It's just very inconvenient. Even though my chest is so tiny, I still will get booby sweat in the summer and it's just, it's not fun. Now I'm inside in the air conditioning. Summer is absolutely my favorite season and I love for it to be hot, but that doesn't mean that I wanna sit outside in the hot constantly. So finally, after adding really dark details to the leaves to give them more dimension, I went in with white acrylic paint. I did the trim on the roof of the barn and then with a very small detailing brush. I'm doing brown watercolor around that and then little tiny lines to create the texture of the barn and that's it. And now for the reveal of the comparison between my picture and the actual scene of my backyard. The actual view. Boom. Okay, the orange flower was slightly out of view here, but it's not the exact same. The next page I decided to do is one that I have already worked on, but I only did one half of it. So some of you guys may remember this. Like I said at the beginning, if you haven't caught up on this series yet, I'll list all the episodes down below and in the iCard. Here are a bunch of my new sticker books, so I do want to use some of those. If you're really sticker obsessed like I am and you want to see a flip through with these six sticker books here, go check out my most recent haul video. It's a big one and I do flip through all these books here and I show a ton of other art supplies and give updates about what's been going on and what videos are coming up soon. I did forget to mention Wreck This Journal in that video, so surprise! Obviously this says place sticky things here and it gives a list of different things, none of which I'm actually using. Stickers are my quote unquote sticky thing, but also on this page I'm using all sweet treats and things that are sticky, like if you would drip them on yourself or spill them somewhere it would be sticky wow what a great explanation so i used this fun with food sticker book as well as these little tiny miniature stickers these are both from michael's i'm also using this really cute fox from one of the newest sticker books and he's napping he or she i don't know we can name the fox and then this kawaii strawberry here is next to him it's like a little chew toy i guess so the fox is dreaming sweet dreams and I just drew the black outlines with a black fine liner. It's a Faber-Castell one. And now I'm taking that water brush again. And oh my gosh, I didn't even realize so many things are recollections in this video. The recollections brand, not sponsored by them whatsoever, but the water brush and the sticker book, the food one, is both by them. And then the um, watercolor crayons coming up is also, are, are also by them, is our, I know grammar, I swear. So for this, I just used that same watercolor palette. I'm carefully going around all the black lines and I'm putting a very light wash of this turquoise color all around. Water brushes, by the way, make this so much easier to do than just a normal brush. You don't have to keep dipping it in the paint. It kind of sucks it in. That's the grossest noise I know, but the bristles suck in a lot and it makes it last a long time. So you don't have to dip it as much and it just makes it so much more convenient. Also, the other reason I chose watercolor as opposed to colored pencils or marker is because you don't get as many 
of the overlap lines it just goes on much more smoothly and appears to be a more solid background especially if I would have used a larger brush but even with the smaller one this is what it turned out like and I think it's really cute my voice always gets really high when I say I think it's really cute okay so the last thing is the title of the video watercolor crayons exclamation point question mark what is that called it's a uh interrobang if you have never heard of that word vocab for the day is that how you say it though here i'm gonna be really real with you guys i was drawing while watching scream the tv series on netflix in my living room i did not do this page in my filming studio well i did move it there at the end i didn't pull out my studio lighting so the lighting's probably a little off here but hey, we're gonna go with it because this is real life and this is what I was doing. I was sitting on the couch and on the floor and changing position a lot, not just for the camera angles. Um, I just like to move and do things while I draw. It keeps me motivated and interested in what I'm doing. Sometimes that's just how I wanna do things. Other times I can sit in my studio for hours on end and listen to music or listen to YouTube videos in the background but other times I want to have a TV show on or just be sprawled out on the carpet and have all my stuff all over and crazy mess everywhere. After doing the initial pencil sketch very lightly, I went in with my Prismacolor colored pencils and I added color shading detail in for the lips, the skin, the really long and huge eye lashes. I tried to create shading rather than a ton of outlines, but I'm still practicing because I don't really draw that often, but I'm getting back into it. So now I'm working on the hair and I'm just doing strands coming down. I made that darker at the root as you can see here, so it's kind of fading. But now comes the most fun part of this. We're gonna test the watercolor crayons by Recollections. They also have really great brush markers. And again, I swear this is not sponsored by them. I'm just drawn to a lot of their products and I'm very happy to say that these are wonderful. They go on really smooth. They have a subtle metallic-y sparkle to them, which is great, but you can barely see it, so it's not overwhelming. You have to look really closely to see it. I don't know, I like that personally. It depends on what you're working on, I guess. They don't come off on your fingers very much, which is great, so they're not super messy. But of course, when you do put water on them, they do smear and smudge and blend. And they blend really nicely, by the way. They are meant to be used with a paintbrush. It says to wet a paintbrush and spread the color around. But yeah, for Wreck This Journal's sake, I smudge the colors with my finger. So I continued the rainbow around by going upward and adding orange, red, and pink. Wreck This Journal has had me do some pretty weird things. Eh. I just washed my hands, by the way. My hair is so poofy when I don't straighten it. Next finger. It's hard to do when I can't really see. I'm sorry, this gives you guys nightmares. Oh my gosh, okay. Don't go too crazy with the water or it's gonna pool and puddle like this. You can wipe it up for the most part and I didn't ruin anything, but yeah, don't use too much. Don't go too crazy and uh, get impatient. Work at it slowly, blend the colors together, and then if you do wanna add a little bit more pigment in some places, you can color back over that area and add more water. The great thing about these is, after you do add water, it does feel like a legit watercolor on the page. It doesn't feel waxy anymore. It doesn't rub off from my experience. I don't know if over time it will rub off, but I don't think so. It seems like it's pretty well adhered to the page. So this idea actually was not what I initially intended. I did not know that I was gonna make her cry at the end, but it just so happened that the blue was the last color. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if her tears turn into a rainbow? Some of you may interpret this as her hair because it kind of does look like that. If you think of like Ariana God is a woman video, it kind of looks like she's submerged in a rainbow bath. But my interpretation is that beautiful things can emerge from a seemingly tough time or an actual tough time. So if you feel like you're trapped or stuck somewhere in life, you won't be forever. If you're lost, you will be able to find yourself again. Also, here's some more testing of the product. I tried to show you that it doesn't really wipe off too much on my skin, and the texture of this, it's hard to show on camera, but 
kind of like an actual crayon but a little bit softer and smoother so I do recommend that you try these for yourself but if you do definitely definitely use a coupon don't buy them full price because they are kind of expensive I forget how much but definitely use a coupon I'm so happy with the way that this piece turned out and I definitely want to try more stuff like this in my sketchbook maybe turn this into the oil painting if you enjoyed this video and you want to see even more Wreck This Journal episodes, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe, turn bell notifications on since subscriptions don't work all the time. I upload every single Friday and I'm trying to get back into a Friday-Sunday or a Friday-Tuesday upload schedule. Let me know which would be best for you guys. I hope to see you guys back here very soon. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Bye! The Long Wave Queen.